We're going to talk more about the sort of ongoing impeachment war that's happening now that is um, been uh, that is involving uh, Nancy Pelosi, doctored Nancy Pelosi videos, a new narrative, it seems, on the right in attacking Nancy Pelosi and uh, Donald Trump holding court with the court gestures and all of his uh, dukes, I guess. And I have no idea. Got my courtiers. Yeah, (laughs) you go. Um, uh, guys wearing cowboy hats around him. Like, I, I'm not unclear what he had this press conference. Not even a press conference, some type of presentation where he's surrounded by everybody who works at the White House, I guess. I don't know who all these people were. And he had uh, to discuss the meeting in which he stormed out of with Nancy Pelosi because Pelosi had said that he's engaged in a cover up. And, of course, the cover-up reference was the fact that the administration on multiple fronts, not just involving the Russia investigation, is refusing to release documents and refusing people to testify in front of Congress. Basically saying, you have no business involved in oversight. And uh, to prove that he did not storm out of this meeting, like Nancy Pelosi said, Crazy Nancy is what he's calling you now. Disintegrating um, Nancy. Disintegrating Nancy. Uh, he decided to call on people who work for the administration to uh, basically give him um, uh, to be uh, what are you, character witnesses for him. And uh, this is how that went. This is we're in we're in full on, you know, uh, authoritarian territory here. The great Larry Kudlow. Could you come here, please? You're not afraid of television, I know. You've got to take care of Larry. more live television. Maybe Regis says you by a little bit, right? <laughs> not by much. Larry, Larry, you were at the meeting yesterday, yes. right? So they have this narrative that they want to put out, because I saw a cry in Chuck yesterday. I love how he, went out he gets the microphone and Larry doesn't. Go ahead. He said he was stomping and he was this and that. And, uh, Larry, you were there. There were many people there, by the way. Many people. We can get you... 25, 20 other people to say this. Uh, what was my attitude yesterday at the meeting? Uh, Mercy's right. Uh, Kellyanne's right. You were very calm. And you laid out the case. You had a lot of numbers of what you've contributed in terms of paperwork and uh, witnesses and so forth. While you were there, they didn't say anything. Speaker didn't say anything. And, um, and you left. You made your case. Well, it was very calm, very Much calmer than some of our trade meetings. I was, saying, I was saying calm like I was at the news conference two minutes ago. Mr. Uh, President, I wanted to say one more thing. When, when the 12 <laughs> Democrats were here on April 30th for the first meeting, they went out to the sticks and addressed the press. And I think you should go back and play Speaker Pelosi's comments from that day because she made very clear that it was a productive, constructive move toward infrastructure. And some of you asked her, how will you investigate him and work on infrastructure? And she said, we didn't talk about investigations. We're here to talk about infrastructure. So that changed yesterday, an hour before she came here. And there's really, if you look at it, hi, Sarah. We're just talking about the meeting. You were there yesterday? <laughs> were you? Yes. Just come really forward. Does anybody know Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, uh, we're just talking about the meeting yesterday. Uh, Pause it. The There's na- so much of this laughter is like just sort of this nervous laughter yeah. of like, <laughs> this is weird. This is weird. Go ahead. About the meeting yesterday, uh, the narrative was I was screaming and ranting and <laughs> raving and it was terrible. <laughs> That's I not Nancy true. and she was all crazy yesterday. She put the hands and everything. She reminded me of uh, Beto. She actually reminded me of Beto, maybe a little bit worse. But just out of curiosity, you were there. What was my telling yesterday at the meeting? Uh, very calm. I've seen both, and this was definitely yes. not uh, <laughs> angry or ranting. Uh, very calm and straightforward and clear um, that we have to actually get to work and do good things for the American people, and it's going to be impossible to do that if we're spending all of our time fighting. So uh. There you go, folks. What a loyal crew of people. Um, I the best people. I guess. I mean, if there's, um, if there needs to be some type of crime blotter after this administration is over and people need to bring all of them into trial, like all you need to do is refer to this tape and just walk them in. And Sarah, can you tell them how many people were at my inauguration too while we're on this? <laughs> exactly. The biggest inauguration, right, Sarah? Right, Sarah. Uh, this is really just uh, disturbing, but... 
Um, and, and and we'll talk about this with Medi uh, on some level. Um, Trump is getting everything that I think Nancy Pelosi is afraid that he will get from an impeachment without the impeachment at this point. Um, this week we've had hearings on uh, Medicare for all, which got no attention. Um, we're having just you know a more onslaught of of news. Um, we'll, we'll talk more about this with Medi. Uh, but before we do, 